There is a place, hidden from the maps, erased from the histories, a place known only through whispered tales and the warnings of those who lived to tell them. A place that exists on the edges of our world and just beyond our reach. This is the Isle of Creepy Jacks. A cursed land where night never truly ends and shadows dance beneath a sky of eternal twilight. For centuries, this island has stood, wrapped in mist and mystery, surrounded by whispers and fear. The townspeople and villages miles away dare not speak of it. Some claim it doesn't exist at all, but those who know, those who've heard the stories, they'll tell you to stay far, far away. They say the Isle was once a gathering place for ancient rituals, where spirits from beyond our world were called forth, spirits that never left. Over time they grew restless, hungry, desperate for company. And so the Isle began to change, as if it developed a life of its own. Faces, grinning, twisted, watching. The Isle demands visitors, you see, but it rarely lets them leave unchanged. Each Halloween, the Isle awakens, luring the curious, the brave, the foolish. Those who set foot here are forever marked, their faces remembered, their presence woven into the Isle's haunting lore. Tonight, you and I will journey into this forgotten place where time stands still and the souls of the lost wait in the shadows. We will walk through the mist, past the haunted faces, and we will search for the truth buried deep within the Isle of Creepy Jacks. But know this, every step forward brings you closer to the Isle's grasp. And once you learn its secrets, there may be no going back. As you step onto the Isle, the air thickens, wrapping around you like an invisible shroud. It's colder here, the kind of chill that settles deep beneath the skin. The fog clings to your clothes, swirls around your feet as though it has a life of its own. Look closely, those twisted trees, their branches reaching like skeletal fingers toward the sky. But it's not just the trees, they're surrounded, surrounded by jack-o'-lanterns. Rows of them, each with a face more sinister than the last. Their carved expressions flicker with a dull orange glow, like embers smoldering in the dark. Do you feel it? That prickling at the back of your neck, like eyes watching you, following your every step. These pumpkins, they seem alive, they seem hungry. Here, no step goes unnoticed. The Isle has eyes everywhere. And as you move further in, it feels as if the Isle itself is deciding whether you're welcome or merely a temporary guest. Listen, can you hear it? Faint whispers, almost like chanting, but from where and more importantly, from what? These pumpkins, they're not ordinary jack-o'-lanterns. Each has a story, an imprint of the past, preserved in twisted smiles and haunting stares. There, the first pumpkin. They call him the Watchman. Towering above the others, his gaze follows every movement. Legend says the Watchman was once a guardian of this place. Some say he's an old spirit, bound to protect the Isle's secrets, forever cursed to roam these grounds. But now, now he's silent, always watching, never blinking, as if deciding who belongs and who doesn't. If you feel eyes upon you, it's likely him judging you as he has judged countless others. And here, a smaller pumpkin, carved with a childlike face, the lost child. It sits beside a doll, its porcelain eyes cracked, staring blankly. They say this pumpkin holds the spirit of a child who wandered here long ago, drawn by the Isle's mysterious allure, only to disappear, never to be found. People say they can hear her at night, her laughter blending with the wind. But it's not the laughter of a happy child, no. It's something else, something sad, something trapped. And as you walk, you notice more pumpkins, each with their own stories, their own secrets. A twisted grin here, a furrowed brow there. Each face holds an emotion, a fragment of someone's soul, perhaps, left here to haunt this place forever. You press on venturing deeper, leaving the path behind. The trees grow thicker, their branches knitting together, casting shadows that dance in the mist. You can barely see the way ahead, yet something pulls you forward, a feeling as if you're being led. Then you see it, an old overgrown clearing, hidden from view, covered in ivy and twisted roots. Scattered on the ground are remnants, left behind by those who came before. A faded photograph, smudged with dirt, the image barely visible, but in it, a figure, 
looking directly at the camera as if warning you not to continue. A broken lantern, its glass shattered, and a boot. One solitary boot, half buried in mud. I hear them at night, it reads, the whispers of whispers they call pumpkins. They watch, always watching. A chill runs through you as you realize you're not the first to uncover these clues. But where did the others go? And why did they leave their belongings behind? Perhaps the isle claimed them, as it claims all who wander too far. The air grows heavier as you move forward, each step feeling like a weight pressing down. You're surrounded now by the pumpkins, by the eyes. Every jack-o'-lantern, every twisted face seems closer, as if they've been following you, closing in, step by step. Look behind you. Did one of them move? Or was it just a shadow playing tricks? But you're certain they weren't this close before. They're drawn to you, the living amongst the dead. And then you hear it, a soft rustling in the bushes, the flicker of a shadow or perhaps a figure lurking just out of sight. Your heart beats faster, a rhythm matched by the pulsing glow of the jack-o'-lantern's eyes. You can almost feel the aisle tightening around you like a spider wrapping its web. And you realize you're being watched from every angle, every shadow, every flickering light. But by what? Or by whom? You push forward, finding yourself at the heart of the aisle, where the fog is thickest and the silence is suffocating. Here lies the truth, or what's left of it. In the center of a ring of ancient stones sits a throne, but not one of royalty. No, this is a throne of roots and vines adorned with the faces of a hundred jack-o'-lanterns, each one frozen in a silent scream or a twisted smile. They say those who uncover the Isle's secret must give something in return. A part of themselves, a piece of their soul, a memory that the Isle will keep forever. Perhaps this is why the pumpkins watch. They are the guardians, keepers of the souls who wandered here and never returned, each face a prisoner of the Isle's haunting grip. And now you stand before them. Do you dare look into their eyes, knowing what they hold within? Or do you turn away, hoping, praying that you can leave before the Isle claims you too. And now, our journey reaches its end, but as you turn to leave you feel different, lighter somehow, as if you've left something behind. Because you see, no one truly leaves the Isle of Creepy Jacks. Not completely. Once you've seen its secrets, it keeps a part of you, a memory, a whisper, a piece of your very soul, to linger here forever. If you enjoyed walking through the shadows with me tonight, don't forget to subscribe for many more journeys into the unknown. Hit the bell, so you'll know when we visit another mystery, another world beyond our own. And who knows, perhaps we'll meet again, here on the aisle, or somewhere, even stranger. <laughs>